<laughs> you can say that. It's um, it's what makes this game beautiful, but it's also what makes this game hard. And um, there's no other ways to say it today. Is, um, it's a tough one to take, but um, you know, it's. I mentioned it before. It's still a universal recipe. You, you got to get back up and and keep going. Well, I was looking at this game, and obviously, come minute 86, you know, game is what it is. You got to play until the end. But come minute 86, um, probably what I would have said is how outstanding the performance was on the ball, off the ball, discipline, mature. Um, but as it is in football, you know, it gets shaped by fairly by the result and. And, and every minute of the game is, is, is as important as, as the first one. And, and in this case, of course, it's, it's tough. But um, I, you know how I function. For me, I, I, I think these moments now, you've got to give yourself the opportunity to, to be objective and look back at the things you've done since the start of the season to get to a certain point, a certain level, and believe that with the amount of games left to play, if every game is like this, or most games, because it can't be every game like this, but if most games um, give us this type of of feature, um, why why should you why, why why should you doubt? Why should you stop um, working hard to to get over the line? What what's got for you go? What's that? What's this for in Charlton? <laughs> it's fine. If I was something more creative like San Pauli or... Uh, Simon, right. um, Vincent, you, you spoke in the programme about belief. Yeah. And because you reached the level you did in the game, you wouldn't have got there if you not believed in Definitely yourself. not. It's a fair thing to have say. you got to impart that to your players and the, and the fans as well? Because it'd be easy after a game like that to think, we, we can't do this, this is too hard. But I, I think it's a it's a universal recipe. Recipe you you go home, your children fall down. What you tell them, get back up and go again, right? And that's it. It's but but are you able to really believe in that? And I always have, always have been. Um, like I said, I c I could come here after 86 minutes and 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 then what happens in the last five minutes and then throw everything away and say, well, it's not good enough. But, but like I said to the players, it's, it's, not, it's not supposed to be easy to get up to this level. Like um, you, you, you'll face these moments and that's what makes you understand. Like I have this image in my head where we're surrounding the player with four players, you know, for all the ways you can concede the goal, we're surrounding Kudus and there's four players around it. And it's just the margins of not getting tight enough. And and he's allowed to go on the outside as a cross, as a deflection in our own goal, which is an own goal, you know. Uh, but this, I've been through this as well in my career. And unfortunately, the hard way is the way you, the way you, you level up, the way you, you make the change in, in your career, and, and, and they're learning it this way. Matt? Um, also, probably, you got the penalty in the end, but do you think you should have had one in the first half as well? Mm, right, so... <laughs> I, I guess, I guess the way I'd put it is, if the referee in the moment decides it's a penalty, I don't think the VAR would call it back and, and call it off, and and then it's all depending on the decision of the referee. That's that's for him to answer. Um, but as for me, and and I think the trend in me standing in front of you, I think I don't think I've ever played Calimero, but the the, the truth is I'm standing here quite often discussing these things and it doesn't seem to be any moment where I've got a smile on my face after these type of incidents. So I, I think the message to the players is nothing's going to be given. And if nothing's being given, you've got to take it. You've got to, you've got to go and wherever you can, um, you know, grab the ball by the horns and not wait for people to make decisions for you. And I felt that's what we did today. But of course, um, margins, margins make a big difference for us at the moment. Yeah, I, I think I'm, 
I'm always big on saying that you, 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 don't, you don't wait for confidence to come and believe. I, I can understand that now at this moment in time, it's tough. But then come Monday, we've, we've got to go again and, and build towards the next game and make sure that we're ready, we prepare well. We show all the habits and standards that we've done so far to, to continue, continue and, uh, and, uh, and be a good team in this league. OK, a couple just finally. Abu? Mm, difficult to say. I, I think what what I would say is with 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 definitely it, it looked like a solid performance today all round without any drama. It was disciplined defensively. It was um, calculated in possession, and there was always threat whether we had the ball or whether we didn't have the ball. Um, and that's the way you have to be in these games in the Premier League. So I'd say it's definitely a good template to go forward, but it's hard to take, very hard to take.